Merry Christmas, yeah. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. This is our Coming from the facts, I just put this three. on your wish list. Merry Christmas, Merry here. Christmas. Put it in a and turn it to a litmus. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Yo guys, welcome back to the YouTube and welcome back to the channel. We are back guys. Sorry about last week. I, I was a bit ill actually and I kind of break my foot well. I sprained my ankle falling down the stairs. Anyway, we're back now and we've got some really cool stuff coming up in December and the new year. We're going to be going to pubs, restaurants, bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs. <laughs> pop-up restaurants, little fates, markets, you name it, we're gonna be there trying the festive and seasonal food for the next few months so you know what's hot and what is not. Starting with number one this week, Miller and Carter. Uh, actually, Jordan chose this one because they've got a sexy looking Christmas menu. It's got turkey on there, festive burgers, festive steaks. So, restaurant number one, Jordan, let's go. And don't forget, as always, guys, hit the link below for our food blog. And we'd love it if you hit the like and even the subscribe button, that'd be even better. So guys, we're at the Miller and Carter. Festive menu. I'm definitely going for the hand carved turkey breakfast. Where's the Christmas tree? Oh, look at that. It's nice in here, actually. He's right, Christmas, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're coming home with me. <laughs> so, we've got some complimentary glasses of Prosecco by downloading the app, but it doesn't, I'm not sure. It looks like it could have been a bit more lively. Shall we give it a go? It's alright to be fair. It might not be sparkling for that girl. Have a try. Alright. Mm. Very nice. So we are <coughs> going to be doing this, guys. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> so it's a three course Christmas menu, it's 30 95 in this one, but I think it's different depending upon where you are. We can pay 34 95 and get a free glass of Prosecco, but you don't need to do that. Just download the app and you can get it for free on there. Don't see, I didn't look out for you guys. We're both going to order the turkey. I'm having this like grapefruit cocktail, prawn cocktail thing. You having chicken wings? Yeah. Smoked chicken wings. And then I don't know what dessert we're going to get, but it should be good. Apart from the Prosecco being a little bit flat. So far, so good. Don't forget, we need to get a reef for the door, baby. A refill? A reef yeah, for do. the door. Oh, yeah. With the Christmas tree? Yeah. That's the next video. With Christmas tree, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> this is a prawn cocktail with grapefruit and Bloody Mary sauce. Oh, my God. And then Jordan is on the smoked chicken wings. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. That's quite cool. They look right nice. They look good. What have we got here? Smoked chicken wings, cranberry glaze. With chilli. With chilli. Oh, dear. I know, my bum's going to be bad tomorrow. It's good, though. Mm. Let's start with the chicken wings, though. Your favourite. Yeah. They smell good. Jordan is the chicken wing queen. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. What are we tasting here? I like the fact they've put tomatoes and that on top of it as well. Grapefruit, Bloody Mary sauce, avocado, prawns, a bit of lemon on there. Let's get straight in there, Jordy Jordy. Mm. Okay. That actually works really well. Mm. The grapefruit makes it quite interesting actually. It has a bitter flavour, and then with the prawns and the avocado. That's a bit of grapefruit right there. Mm. Good combo, guys. Actually, this is a pretty banging starter. What we're we saying, winging it. Mm. Does that explain it? <laughs> it does. This is really cool. So, it's quite refreshing. The grapefruit really works in there. You could do with a tiny bit more seasoning. But yeah. Same as this as well. Yeah? Oh, I didn't even try that. I know what that is as well. It's a blue cheese dip. I don't think you're going to like that. Yeah, eat. A convert, maybe? <coughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the festive turkey is here. Came pretty quick, didn't it? Ooh. Let's let's do a let's do a gravy test today. Mm. We're gonna go with a carrot. Mm. 
Oh wow. Oh yeah. That is good. That is good. Have you tested the Brussels sprout? Yeah. They're very nice. soft. Mm. Let's try a Brussels sprout. Oh, they are a bit soft. Christmas is not Christmas without Brussels sprout. Mmm. Best potato sound crispy as well. They do. I think you should try one. But apparently they're yeah, cooked in beef. Mm. Good potato? Mm. No, honey roasted parsnips. Oh. And then it says carrots. Honey roasted parsnips. It does smell of honey actually. Mm. It's good. Let me just double check. Hang on. <laughs> You can have my parsnips, I don't like parsnips. Festive turkey, meal number one as well. It's like this is, this is setting the precedence here, isn't it? Mm. Nice and moist. Right, nice. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to check a roast potato as well because uh, we've had a few issues with these in the past. You can definitely taste the beef dripping. The gravy is nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, they're okay. They're not the best for his potato, but they're good. Well, let's dive into it, guys, eh? Yeah. yeah let's do it. Lemon and thyme stuffing. Mmm. Yeah, eat. Yeah, the turkey is good. Nice and moist, not dry. The gravy is really full of flavour. It's quite salty, but it's good. It's very nice. You like it? Mm. The sprouts are a little bit overdone, but with the gravy, yeah, they are. it the makes sprouts. up for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Muscle sprouts. Yeah. But I'm enjoying it so far. It's not bad, is it? No. Good starter, definitely a good starter. Nice stick chunk to turkey as well. I'm not sure on that stuffing, you know. No. A bit lacklustre. It's basically sage and lemon thyme stuffing wrapped in bacon, which is nice, but it's a bit overly salty. The flavours of the lemon thyme don't really come through. No. What do you think of it? It's way too soft as well. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Hello! Please subscribe to a like on Joe and Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sprout has... The sprout spoken. It's spoken. And what's it said? Subscribe. It's very beef based. Yeah, beef dripping gravy and beef dripping roast potatoes. Like, the roast potatoes are good though, don't, don't get me wrong. Cappuccino. Mm. So guys, chocolate orange brownie. Let's get in, let's get, let's get, let's get naughty. Come on. Mm. Correction, it's not chocolate orange as well, it's just normal brownie. Is it? Yeah. Is it a Christmas brownie? Yeah, it's got honeycomb in it. Oh, it's very good. Let's try the ice cream. Oh, I thought you, oh, what's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> well, I have to try it for the video, right? <laughs> that plate will be literally elite, that plate. Mm. Mm. Right, you have a try it. What's it compared to the Weatherspoons brownie? A lot better. Okay, guys, that was the Miller and Carter three course Christmas menu for £31. It does vary uh, on different locations, but £31 down in the good old southwest near Bristol. Well, Western Supermare, actually. So I reckon I'm going to give that as our first one. I'm going to go 6.5 out of 10. Jordan, what do you think? Yeah, I'd say around about seven. It was really good. The turkey was great. The gravy was a bit salty and the veg was a little bit iffy. Yeah. Starters were amazing though. So I do recommend it, guys, if you want to spend £30, don't forget free glass of Prosecco if you download the app. And next week, guys, we're going to be cutting down a brand new Christmas tree and trying some more Christmas food. So make sure you come back then. Hit the like button down below and the subscribe. And until then, we will see you next week.